Hey guys, Christopher Adams here. So, uh, wanted to make a quick video here in beautiful downtown St. Pete before I go into work today. Uh, just chilling over here next to the bay. So it was a little, uh, it was a few blocks away from my office, but it's good to get some exercise, get your uh, blood flowing and your brain going and everything before work. So uh, today's video is going to be on what is my biggest programming tip for you as a developer or an aspiring developer. All right, so the biggest tip that I have is to, and this is a very important one, pay very close attention. It is to constantly learn new things as a programmer, constantly. Don't try not to let a day pass by where you're not at least learning one small new thing. It could be very minor, however big or small, but you should try to strive to consistently learn new things every single day. It's very important in our field and you can fall behind fairly quickly uh, in this industry if you don't. So be open to learning new things. Uh, learn, learn something new. Uh, you know, you can learn a new programming concept. You can learn uh, what the difference is. It could be something small, like learning the difference between const and let in JavaScript. You know, if you learn one new thing a day, even if it's very minor, it'll accumulate day after day after day. And before you know it, you'll know quite a bit, but you want to keep at it. You don't want to get, to get to a point where you're like, I'm doing good at my job. I can get work done. I'm feeling very comfortable with the technologies that I'm using. Uh, and then you're like, I'm not going to learn anything new. No, you want to continue to learn new things and make yourself more and more valuable. You know, if you, if you uh, work as a PHP developer at your job and all you do is PHP, well, I highly encourage you outside of your job to learn some JavaScript or to learn uh, maybe uh, some Kotlin or learn uh, another programming language and the ecosystem around that programming language, right? You don't wanna just remain stagnant just because you're doing well at your job. Uh, but if you're at the point where you're trying to look for your first job ever as a developer, well then even more so you should be learning, you know, try and learn several new things today, not just one new thing a day. But worst comes to worst, before you go to sleep at night, make sure to just learn something very small, you know, if that's all you can squeeze in for the day. It, sit down for five or 10 minutes, try and learn something that you can wake up the next day and say, okay, I'm better today than I was the day before. And uh, here's, here's some other advice for you. If you feel very comfortable with say the web stack or uh, you know, or just say with web in general, maybe you should try dabbling in mobile. Maybe you should try picking up uh, some mobile programming languages like Swift or uh, you know, you can use Kotlin as well, but just dabble in some mobile, uh, the mobile ecosystem because then you could start branching out from just being a web-based developer. You can do web, you can do mobile, and you'll make yourself more useful at your company and in the future if uh, you are applying for different positions. And also, uh, this should go without saying, but if you're a mobile developer and you're very comfortable with the mobile ecosystem, you should definitely branch off and start learning some web. I have, uh, you know, there's some people that, that I know that only do mobile and they don't know any web. And there's some people that I know that only do web and they don't know mobile. Well, you could also, you know, additionally, this should go without saying, but you can, it doesn't have to be mobile. You can do web and, and venture off into maybe some AI or maybe some uh, machine learning or maybe, uh, you know, another avenue of uh, programming. But uh, it's really good to get that exposure because if you learn mobile and, and you know web, well, guess what? Things that you learn from the mobile side of things, you'll be able to apply to the web. And you'll be like, wow, I never really realized this until I started doing mobile and vice versa. So those are some big tips as well. But you know, let's, let's hone this back in and go back to the main topic of this video. And that I was just trying to throw some ideas out there. But the main topic of this video is to constantly try and learn at least one new thing a day, however big or small. You want to wake up the next day knowing that you're better than the day before. So yeah, I hope you all got something out of this video. Uh, please remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons. I will be putting out several new videos here shortly. Uh, feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions regarding uh, anything and uh, I'll be sure to reply to you. 
see you guys later and uh, hope you all have a good rest of your day and keep at it. Keep at it.